right, today we're working on a 2013 Chevy Cruze and I was told that the check engine light was on. But as you can see, as you can see, the check engine light is not on here. Let me turn the key off. You can see the check engine light over here. But um, when the car's running, the check engine light is not on. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take it to the shop, scan it for codes, see if there's any codes in memory and uh, then we'll go from there, but uh, check engine light's not on. I'm also gonna go on a test drive and see how the car feels, see if I feel anything abnormal with this shit. Feels like it's, almost like it has a restricted cat or something. It just feels weak. It feels like it's lacking power. I know it's only a four banger, but I think it is a turbo. And uh, we'll verify that and then uh, we'll see what we can find. Oh, it's raining. Good. I love the rain. Alright, so I got my scanner hooked up, and real quick, I just want to know if there's any codes in, in memory. So I'm just going to use my Actron scanner. And um, we're gonna go global because here, let me show you. Let's say that I want to um, pick a 2013 Chevy. My scanner won't allow it. It only goes up to 2004, and after that, it goes global. So 2004 and newer, it's gonna go under global. So I have to keep it there, just OBD2. All right. So let's just go ahead and scan it for codes. And see what comes up. All right. Oh, we got one code. Look at that. All right. Here we go. It's a P0299 Turbo Supercharger Underboost. Now, when I was driving it, I did feel a little bit of uh, hesitation, lack of power. So this does make sense. But I don't understand why the check engine light wasn't on. Uh, maybe the light just came on and then uh, it's like a two trip fault or something. So uh, we're gonna have to take a look at the turbo. Right, so the turbo on this car is right here. It's part of the whole um, exhaust manifold assembly. Uh, usually what happens is this lever right here wears out and uh, it causes the wastegate to stick open uh, when it's supposed to be closed and that'll give you a P0299. I've also seen it where it cracks. It cracks on the inside by the turbine. But uh, we don't know what's wrong with it yet, so we're gonna have to take it apart, open it, and see what's going on there. For the exhaust uh, heat shield, you're gonna need these, it has these uh, inverted torque sockets. So you're supposed to use an E10 like that, but if you guys don't have an E10, you can use a regular eight millimeter socket and it's gonna take um, it's gonna take those nuts off. It fits perfect in there. So let me go ahead and remove that turbo for you and then I'll show you guys what's going on in there. Shall we begin? Let's begin. Alright, so the catalytic converter had to come out. Now, you can see what's left up there is just a turbo. Alright, now I can already see something here that doesn't look quite right to me. I don't know if you guys can catch it on video, but once I take it out, I'll show you exactly what's going on and um, what's wrong with this turbo. All I gotta do right now is take off these two bolts right here. And uh, that's for the oil. And then uh, I think it should be good to come down. So let me let me take that off, and then I'll bring it down for you guys. I remember what I told you about those um, those torque. Sorry, not torque. Inverted torques. I'm just using a regular eight millimeter socket to take that off. It works fine, and it fits perfect. No 
problems. Shall we begin? All right, so the turbo's out. Now, originally I thought that the, prob the problem with it was this crack right here. But I, I looked it up on GM and according to that, that crack is it's normal. Now, another thing that I found is that the wastegate, now it's pretty rough. And there's times where it even binds up. If you look at the new one over here, it's way quieter. It's smoother. And it's just, this one's not binding at all. So that's how it's supposed to be. So what I'm thinking was happening with this one that there was a point where it will get stuck open and it will start leaking. So that's where the P0299 came from. It's from this valve right here. It doesn't close all the way, it'll get stuck. Essentially what you have is kind of like a vacuum leak but at the turbo boost. Now this is not a uh, service separately, so I'm gonna have to change the whole unit. And I got it over here, so now it's ready to go back in. Nice and shiny. There it is, guys. Brand new turbo assembly installed on a 2014 Chevy Cruze. Now I know I didn't make this uh, a how-to video, how to replace the entire um, turbo assembly step by step and that wasn't the plan that wasn't my intention with the video I just wanted to show you the faults that can happen with the turbo assembly uh, one thing I didn't mention is that this solenoid right here could also be bad because this is the one that controls vacuum to this actuator all right now our problem was in here and it wasn't with the turbine that turbine can go loose if the bearings go bad inside of it our problem was with the um, the wastegate solenoid valve it was opening and when it was time to close it it would bind and it wouldn't close all the way essentially creating like a vacuum leak in the turbo assembly and that's where that P0299 came from but um honestly replacing that whole turbo is not difficult it's uh it is time consuming though but if you have one of these cars and you have that P0299 most likely you're gonna have to change the whole turbo over here that right there is a catalytic converter that's gonna have to come off separately I think I showed you guys in the video but um, right now what I want to do is go test drive the car and make sure that everything is good. Make sure that we have uh, proper acceleration and proper boost. And make sure that it just feels good overall, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go test drive it. Alright, here we go. Got the car running. And I'm going to go ahead and take it on the freeway and make sure that it pulls nice. Like a four banger with a turbo should. Here we go. Oh yeah, right away. The tires are already slipping, so this thing's pulling nice. Here we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, this thing has a nice, nice pull. Sorry about the shakiness, but I'm on my phone and it's hard to record while driving too, so. Oh yeah. All right guys, that's gonna be the end of this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Oh. Don't record and drive. See you guys on the next one.